going on YouTube? Ichi here. And we're back with another drawing video. I know it's been a while. It's good to see you guys. I want to thank the new people for subscribing and checking out the channel. It's much appreciated. And... Hmm. Let's get into it. Um, recently I uploaded a video. It was an AMV I did for the uh, anime called B-Stars. It was part of the new um, 2019 anime that came out. And, well, the anime was good. It got me into it from like the first episode because it was just different, you know? Like people call it like the furry, um, it's based like a, people, call it a darker Zootopia but I'm like come on like people really love throwing that word around when they describe B-stars but I'm like or maybe I'm so desensitized to like a dark uh, story setting I don't know but yeah, it was a good show it, it got me um I was so curious about the story, I just dove into the manga. I read all the way through, and I'm pretty much caught up in the manga. Uh, I'm not going to spoil anything, in this case, people haven't, um, you know, read it. But, um, uh, I'm just talking about the art video, I'm talking about B-Stars. I can make a different video for that. <laughs> but yeah, this video, I'm basically just going through my, um, drawing here and it's inking filling in the blacks um i uploaded the outline i think a couple weeks ago but like i said just been busy with work so i haven't had time to edit and record the commentary you know that whole spiel it takes a bit of time but um yeah, it's, it's fairly simple. I'm just filling in you know, all this hair and the blacks. Trying to get the shine right. Um, yeah, he's... He, I think I said in the last video, like he basically just has that masochist expression. Because I'm just working on my, my comedic expressions. Because the sh story is kind of like a comedy. Mixed in with an action. Um... I would call it a thriller, action-adventure story, but yeah, I mean it has some drama thrown in, but it's not focused on drama, it's more focused on comedy, but you know, it's not, it's not like tailored to one specific um, theme here, that's what I like about it, it's very flexible. Also got the logo there too. Hmm. Man, I just had them work on like different expressions. I also slowed down the video, give you a, an idea of how how uh, the normal speed is for you know drawing. But some people are, are able to draw very quickly though. You know, it just depends on how long you've been doing it. How comfortable you are that you know you can you can control your uh, hand speed, but I usually like to take my time to get the details right. I want to talk about B stars though, so so that's what I'm gonna do right now. Uh, what was I saying? Oh oh yeah the uh, the anime the anime was good. And then I read the manga from the beginning because I wanted to see how they changed it in comparison. And I, I like the way that they adapted the anime from the manga. Because I had read the manga and I was like, why did, they, why did the author do this that way? And then I compared it to like the adaptation. I'm like, I like how they adapted it. Like, like it was like, it fit, it fit my uh, preference better in the anime than the manga. 
it seemed more appropriate to me. Like a lot of thought was put into it. Cause like that's what happens sometimes when like um, creators write a story for a comic, and then it gets adapted. Cause like sometimes they don't really think about things too hard, or they don't have someone to check for them and like run it through them, like situation or something. Cause like if you think about it hard enough, you're like yeah, it doesn't make sense. But some you know they're on a deadline, so they don't really have time to like think and edit and worry. But you know when, it, when they, people adapt it, like it's a whole team working on it. So they have a lot of people, you know, thinking about it and giving their opinions and trying to create the best story here. So that sometimes they end up changing things or, or taking things out or, you know, trying to make it fit to the context of the story and the scene that they're uh, depicting. But... I don't really have like an, a set thing that I want to do. That's why I upload like variety of videos on my channel. Like to AMVs, to drawing videos, or just, you know, um, whatever it is I feel like doing. Because my other, I have a gaming channel where I upload my game, my games that, um, you know, I play. I do playthroughs. Um, I've mostly been playing fighting games now, but I'm, I'm just bringing it up because um, because of my channel here is I'm not limited to one thing. I want to have the freedom to do whatever it is I want to do. To animations, oh yeah, animations and whatever I feel like doing. But obviously, gaming is like a separate thing, so I made a different channel for that. But like editing AMVs, like I leave them on my uh, main channel. I mean, it's not monetized or anything, cause like I don't even have a thousand subscribers, so I'm not even wor worried about that. Then plus, I'm not even making revenue, so it doesn't really matter anyways. When they get the copyright strike on it, cause the YouTube don't care, <laughs> cause they're like, you you ain't got no money for us to take, so we don't give a fuck. <laughs> Pretty much Filling in the background Sky here I need to work on drawing backgrounds more I just I'm like I'm so focused on the characters And their expressions Because they can carry the story Like the background is like a It's not a minor part Like the background can be very important to establish The scene and especially how it's angled and captured, you know, it can capture the weight of the scene or the motion. Especially with the, like the lighting. Excuse me. <clears throat> especially with the like the lighting and the way that it's framed, it can really bring out the emotion. But um, yeah, characters also hold that weight as well. It's like a balance, but like. You can tell a story without relying on a background for that. Like, you can just look at Bleach, for instance, like a lot of people do. Especially when it comes to, like, manga and art style. Like, Bleach was, like, always at the top back when um, it was out. And it was part of the Big Three. For those of you who remember, the Big Three was consisted of One Piece, Naruto, Bleach. And they were the biggest shonen stories that people followed. And, um you know bought the mangas for and they were insanely popular for a long while but you know that obviously changed and bleach just fell underneath the wayside like it never even existed I saw an article about it and it basically was saying that it was like it was like showing a jump it was like the worst of the best shonen series and like had bleach for the the thumbnail of the article I'm like yeah I would agree with that because like bleach had like a lot of wasted potential it had a, it had a good core story but the characters and the development of the plot was just awful 
and it's not an argument that the Soul Society arc was the best arc in Bleach. It was. Without it, hands down, it was the best arc in Bleach. I always say it because it's like true. Like, you can't argue that. Like, I don't care about no 100 year war. I don't care about that. I don't care about no Waco Mundo arc. You know what I'm saying? That Soul Society arc, though? Mm. That shit was good. Just filling in the tones here. So, basically, in this video, I just talked about anime and <laughs> got my nerd on a bit. But it's relevant to, you know, what inspires you to draw, you know? Like, anime is like that type of art form that pushes you or, you know, inspires you to just draw cool things. So it's all relevant. And Beastars is just one of those things that just recently just, you can get a lot of inspiration from it. Because it's something different. So it's interesting. So, yeah. Alrighty. I rambled long enough. Anything you want to see, let me know in the comments down below. I do read them, and I appreciate them. If I don't reply to you right away, I will be sure to get back to you. And that'll be all. This has been Ichi, and I'll see you guys around in the next video. Peace.